My name is Adam J. Kurtz, but everybody calls me Adam JK. Uh, I'm from Toronto originally, but now I live in Brooklyn, New York. Artist and author, started as a graphic designer and now kind of just do everything. I'm not a believer in quit your day job. Your work suffers when you need to make money from it. You wouldn't make weird stuff if you needed it to sell. The only reason I started doing this full time is that I got fired from my day job. Because literally my boss was like, you don't have time for this anymore. And that was four years ago. And I'm busy, like this, this is a job. Without further ado, Adam. My name's Adam. I am very excited to be here. I joined Tumblr when I was maybe 17. And at the time it was just a platform, like I just wanted somewhere to have a cool blog. Very early on, it was a very different kind of community and it continued to grow in ways that I didn't expect. And so I was making friends in like the art and design scene. Then I started making this like network of like cool gay friends. And then stuff on Tumblr started getting weirder. It exploded from what it was when I joined into what it is now, which is like this crazy mix of stuff, you know? I've been on it for 11 years. Like, I've been growing with it this whole time. I think every creative person, every artist wants to make work that people enjoy. So what's special about Tumblr is that you can share images very quickly. And what's nice about that reblogging function is that it doesn't fully remove me from the equation. There is still a trail back. So people can see a source. A lot of art is nice, but devoid of context loses a lot of its meaning. And I make work that looks really simple. Uh, and you might not think anything of it until you appreciate that it comes from a very authentic human source. Please buy my book, I have a husband to feed. I always felt that safety on Tumblr where I was able to be pretty open about my growth, you know? And so I can scroll back on Tumblr and I can see I'm an undergrad moving to New York via Surrounded by Boxes, first date with my now husband. My entire life progressed through Tumblr. I think everyone goes through this phase of like trying to figure out what their next self is. And maybe you attempt that and like half succeed or maybe you attempt it and fail. And you kind of just realize that you're actually just gonna be you no matter what. And figuring out that who I already was was like exactly who I needed to be really liberated me from that stress and pressure. Letting go of this idea of like, I'm gonna suddenly be a cool person made things easier for me. I think everyone just needs to really embrace the, who they are in a very literal sense. It just gets easier once you do.